Hi YouTube, welcome to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett and today we're going to attempt to make an LED flashlight.
So we've got all the parts printed here. Um, there's basically just four major parts. This is the top where the LEDs will go. This is the midsection, they'll connect like that. And this is where all of our buttons and knobs will go. And then this is the battery holder in the bottom section. And then just the cover for, cover for the battery holder. Okay, and then for some tools you're gonna need. Of course, we're working with electronics, so you need a soldering iron. Uh, Phillips head screwdriver wire cutters, some uh, electrical tape might come in handy, and we'll just need a 9 volt battery. Then we'll need a whole bunch of electronic components like switches and knobs and LEDs and stuff. Um, I'll put a full list down in the description of those with links to everything so you can see exactly what I'm using. Okay, so we've got our test circuit here. And as you can see, what it boils down to is basically just an LED over here. This is an RGB LED, so it has all three colors. And then I've got three potentiometers here that control each color. So this one should be green. Yep, there we've got green. This one should be red. And then this one should be blue. There we go. So then if we turn all of them on, um, well, you'll be able to see pretty much each individual color, but it should be close to white. So there we have it. Seems to be working well. Okay. Notice if I take another LED and insert it in here, just right in the same amount of pins, it lights up the same way as well. And that's the basic principle we're going to be using to put the LEDs in here. Okay, so the, the general idea of what I'm going to be doing here is that I'm going to stick the battery in there, obviously. And then um, it will come up and I'll have a rocker switch right here. So it'll run through that. And then I'll have the knobs here. And I'll have this round proto board up here. And then they'll all connect to that on the underside. And then the LEDs will sit on top, shine upwards. Okay, so I've got this part fully wired and soldered up and everything, and you should have two wires coming out the bottom for power and ground from the battery, and then four wires coming out of the top, one for ground and then one for each of the colors. Now I think what we should do is give it a quick test. Okay, so in order to do that, plug it in down here. And then we'll just take one of our LEDs and we'll test it out. So we'll just touch the ground to ground here. And I should be able to take one of these other wires. Okay, there we've got blue and green. That seems to work well. Looks good. Um, now I'm going to start soldering them to the proto board and get some LEDs on there.
Okay guys, here's the finished product. Um, didn't turn out exactly like I'd wanted it to, but hey, this was my first attempt at making something like this, so uh, it works. Just, you know, I would have made some different choices knowing what I know now. So we can go ahead and turn it on, the switch right there. And then uh, they didn't have a green um, knob, so this is white, but you can see it. Turn that on, LED is turned green. And then back down, we got the blue. And then we've got red. The red aren't as powerful. But, you know, we can make any combination of those. So, like, if we want yellow, we can go about there. Purple. And then, of course, we can add all of them to create a whitish color. And... I chose these LEDs, um, they're clear, um, and the reason I chose them is I thought they'd be a little bit brighter and more directional, but as you can see they have, um, you can notice the three different colors very distinctly, and that's not what you want in a flashlight, so, you know, I, next time I think I'll try some um, clear, or some diffused LEDs and see if those work any better, because... That's not uh, not the way I'd like it. Um, and then as far as the actual design goes, it, it worked pretty well. The biggest issue I had, as you can see right there, there's a little bit of a gap um, just because I didn't leave quite enough room for all the cords for the batteries, or for the 9-volt the battery, all the cords in there. Fitting everything inside here was really, really difficult. And part of that was because I put sections in here to um, bolt it together because it's three different pieces, you know? And, you know, I contemplated making it one piece, but, you know, I hadn't test out the design or anything, so I printed it in three pieces just in case one of the pieces didn't work as well. Um, I could just reprint the section instead of having to reprint the whole thing. So I will be adding this to Thingiverse. But I think I'm going to combine all three sections and provide an option for that as well. Um, just because I think it would be better. And if your printer supports um, a print this tall, then that'd be definitely the way to go. Because that would kind of unblock the passages inside to help you fit everything in there. I think it'd just be easier. Oh, well, there you guys have it. A 3D printed flashlight. I think it went pretty well for my first prototype. Um, because, you know, obviously it does work. You can change the colors on it, which is it's pretty fun to mess with. So this was a really fun little project. I've definitely got some ideas to make it better for my second attempt. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you guys have any ideas for how to make this better, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear them. Well, thanks for tuning in. That's all for me.